today we're going to be looking at five more rotoscope effects that you guys can use on your edits. This is the second part to a video I released a couple of months ago, but just super quick before I hop into this tutorial, I gotta let you guys know about my Black Friday sale that's going on right now. We're offering buy one, get one free for all of our editing packs. You guys can do this up to three times. So if you add six editing packs to your cart, three of those will be completely free. You guys are looking for drag and drop effects, crazy color grades, or just adding 3D to your videos super easily. Go check out the website. There's something there for you, but let's hop right into this. So starting off, we have this clip from the Tesla music video here. Of course, this is a rotoscope video. So we're gonna start off by rotoscoping Yachty. You guys don't know how to rotoscope that out. You know the drill. I have a couple videos on it on my channel. Recommend you go watch those and then come back to this. So we're gonna rotoscope on Yachty super quick. Now that we have Yachty rotoscoped and isolated from the background here, we're gonna go ahead and turn up the feather and then turn down the shift contrast just so we get those edges super clean. You guys should know that by now. So if I turn back on the layer there and drag it behind, you guys could see we have Yachty and then we have the background layer. So what we're gonna do for this effect here is we're gonna duplicate the rotoscope Yachty one more time so we have two rotoscopes of him. We're gonna go onto the middle one here, go over to our effects and we're gonna put on Echo. We're gonna get an effect just like this where you have a bunch of different versions of Yachty behind him. Now we're gonna turn the background on again here to make this effect blend together super well we're going to go down to the decay and turn that to 0.7 and then the echo operator we're going to turn that to maximum as you guys can see there we get a super clean echo effect now you can add to this and customize it to your liking by adding some glow adding some hue change i guess so moving into the very next one here we're going to have this background flickering effect here so for this effect to work what we're going to have to do is go into the background layer here we're going to go into effects and presets and we're going to search up brightness and contrast and we're going to drag that on to the bottom clip here if you guys do not know about After Effects expressions, I'm going to put you guys onto some sauce here. If we go into Effects, we open up Brightness and Contrast. On Brightness, what we're going to do is we're going to hold Alt and then click on it. And then we're going to have this Code tab pop up here. We're going to hit Enter, putting us on the second line of code. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type Wiggle Bracket 5, comma 10, and then Close Bracket then we're gonna hit enter. Now what the first number and the second number are is they are frequency and amplitude. You guys can see we have the background blowing a little bit just like so, and we can customize it a little bit more. We made it 20, 30. We have a more intense sort of flicker. You guys can do this with zero plugin. This is all inside of After Effects. You guys can do the exact same thing with contrast here too. So if we copy our wiggle, we go under contrast, hit the timer button, go into the second line and paste the exact same wiggle. Get us some that then get on This is a very colorful video. So if we go on to HLS here, drag on color balance, HLS to the background layer. Do the exact same thing and all click on hue and we copy that exact same wiggle animation. You might have to play with the two numbers for this one. Get us some that then. Tell me that does not look fire, guys. With the color changing, I really think it matches this hat and looks super sick. Now we can play with these numbers here. Let's try five and thirty. First, get us some that then get off. That looks really good there. 5 and 15. Get us some that, but get on to Customize it to your liking. This one that looks super fire with the background colors changing. All right, guys, moving on to our very next one here. We're going to have this background slide effect, which can be super simple at first, but once you add some more sauce to it, you can really customize it and make it look really good. We're going to go to the background layer, drag and drop effect called offset of it. Now, once we have offset on the background layer here, you guys can see we can play with the vertical and the horizontal slide here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very beginning, hit the timer on shift to center, go to the very end, and we're going to drag it a bunch of times. And then we'll line it right back up on the Yachty here. Ignore the lyrical lemonade logo because that's obviously not going to be there on your video. Now it looks all right, but to really add that background blur, we're going to go into a directional blur here and go as that we are going in. So we're going to make it 90 degrees and then we're going to turn up the blur light just like this. They just got a shut sink. As you guys could see, that looks super fire in there. And if we go back to the last effect that we created and we copy the brightness and contrast, I believe we can create a super fire effect by pasting this onto the background here. With the flicker and the color change and i do recommend going back into the color change here and playing with it as you can see it's changing the colors super pretty there it's so clean you guys have no idea but out of this very next one here guys we already have a yachty rotoscoped i think this one's gonna be super fun to play around with so as you guys could see the beat goes crazy here Think how 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go over to adjustment layer, and we're gonna create a bunch of different shakes on this using Shake Sauce, which is a super fire After Effects extension. I highly recommend, I rely on it for all my videos. If you guys do wanna check it out, you can get $5 off by using code tapes in the description below. And right now for Black Friday, if you guys do go ahead and cock Shake Sauce, you also get another editing pack or extension or preset or anything you want for free from my friend Brian's site. Make sure you guys use code tapes below to save yourself $5 on top of that. But let's get into how it works. Why am I selling you something if you don't know how it works? Let's hop into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the adjustment layer behind the run scoped clip of Yachty here, as you guys can see. And we're gonna go to where the first beat is. Hey, how many? So it's right here. We're gonna go into Shake Sauce, go under all. We're gonna start off at the first one with a quick hit with Flash. Now the sauce with Shake Sauce here is you don't just double click and put it on. You can do that, but I do like to customize where it is. You hit you on your keyboard on the adjustment layer. We're gonna have these keyframes. I like to light up the second one where the hit is. You guys can see. Me and the and we should keep our control C, control B, dragging these on the beats. As you can see, here we have Yachty in the foreground of oh, oh, oh. the Very last one here, guys. We're going to try this threshold noise effect that I've been a super big fan of lately. So we're going to go ahead and drag threshold onto the background. And then we're going to drag on noise as well. Now we are inside of the layer, so you guys cannot see what is going on. But if we hit composition here, boom. That does not look good right now, but trust me, we're going to make it look good. We're going to drag the noise up. And we're going to drag that above the threshold. And let's drag the noise back up. And then drag the threshold down just like this. Now, it didn't look the greatest, so we're going to try putting the threshold on top of Yachty here, which I think looks super fire. We're going to turn the noise down and the threshold amount up. I think that looks super fire there, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Also, don't forget about our Black Friday sale. Buy one, get one free on all editing packs. Works up to three times, so if you add six packs to your cart, three of those will be completely free. Trust me, there is something on there for you guys. Go check it out. It's the biggest sale of the year. Also, for Shake Sauce, if you guys do want to go grab that, you can get $5 off using code TAPES. And Brian is also doing a buy one, get one. So if you go ahead and grab Shake Sauce, you can get another pack for free and save $5. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.